Good evening everyone and a very warm welcome to our Ladies at Home event. So wherever you are watching around the world, uh, a very warm welcome to every one of you. And our speaker tonight, um, Pamela Gaia, uh, is from a place far away, but whenever you hear Pamela speak, you'll very quickly realise that um, she's, she lives much nearer to home than that. Um, she, is a, she is a local girl. And so Pamela will share more about herself very shortly. Um, so Pamela lives in Nigeria and Adrian was also in Nigeria on three occasions. This was all before he met me and he did bring home um, lots of things from Nigeria but a few things that he brought home were these um, instruments and I believe that they played them in worship in church and I'm not going to um, play too much tonight. We see this one here. I guess it's just this is class. And um, just brilliant and I'm sure the praise and worship is just something else uh, out there. Um, but we're going to let Pamela um, when she comes to speak, share a bit more about that there. But so for now, um, I'd just like you to sit back and relax and enjoy the beautiful worship song, Behold Our God.
His throne. Come, let us adore Him. Behold our King. Nothing can compare. Come, let us adore Him. Good evening, everyone. I'm very happy to be part of your number online tonight. I realize at home you've turned the clocks back and the evenings are quite dark early on now. Well, it's dark with us here too in Nigeria from just about 6 p.m. these evenings. One of the things I've always found intriguing is the Lord's timing of things, his timeliness. Maybe you're like me and you can often find yourself saying, that was perfect timing, that was great timing, or it was so timely to be reminded of that. Well, recently Gracie had to learn a few verses from Jeremiah chapter 17. It was for a school project and it really struck me just how timely and how relevant the verses were that she had to learn. Here they are, have a listen. But well, blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence is in him. He will be like a tree planted by water. It sends its root out towards a stream. It doesn't fear when heat comes and its foliage remains green. It will not worry in a year of drought or cease producing fruit. Jeremiah seventeen seven to 8 Thank you. So there we have Jeremiah 17 verses 7 and 8. I think you'll agree they're very timely and very relevant even to each one of us this evening. Wonderful verses just for us to look at for a moment or two this evening. Jeremiah was a young prophet who brought a message of judgment time and time again to the people. But Jeremiah also knew of God's promise to save his people, to bless his people. And that's why he could start that verse by saying, blessed is the one. What a blessed people we are when we trust in the Lord and we have our confidence in him. We're like a tree, it says. We're planted by the water. Our roots are reaching the stream and we are being watered. Certainly, we can expect the heat to come, those trying and difficult times, daunting times. But this verse reminds us, I needn't be afraid. I can still trust and have my confidence in the Lord. And what happens? Well, we're told here, my foliage remains green. I can think of the green fields of home and all the showers of rain that come every day, mostly. Well, right now, even our fields are green here in Nigeria. The rains have just finished and we know, though, it'll be a different story come December, January time. The land will be brown and dry. There won't be any rain maybe until March or April next year. We can wonder, we can worry, will there be a drought? Will the rains be delayed? Will it affect the crops that are growing? Well, for the Christian, we're told in this verse, I will not worry. I can have my confidence in God. I can be assured of his steady in hand during these days. I will still bear fruit. Why is this possible? It's possible because the God who loves me, the God who sent his son to die for me to redeem me this same God is the one who will sustain me I can be sure of his grace and mercy every day his promises are true I will always be able to give thanks and glorify him so please let us remember Jeremiah 17 7 and 8 just um, in the days that lie ahead and may they be a blessing and an encouragement to each one of our hearts Friends, I have just a few items that I would like to share with you. If we could turn them into prayer, that would be such a help. We'd ask you to pray for Nigeria and pray for Plateau State, 
pray for Jos, the city in which we live. We would pray that we would know peace and stability at this time. Recently, we've had 24-hour curfews called, and that's because of trouble and violence that has sadly flared up. The loss of lives and property is always a terribly sad situation. So we pray for those in authority. We pray for our leaders. We pray for those that God has put in that particular position, that they would know wisdom. And above all, they would know godly wisdom. We pray for our own security, certainly throughout the land of Nigeria, but even in our own neighbourhood. We know these days are difficult. We can't deny it. So we would ask that you would pray for God's protection and his care over our lives every day and indeed every night. We believe that as a country and even as a continent, we've been spared from the full horrors of COVID-19. What a mercy we have received and we just praise God for this and thank him with full gratefulness in our hearts. Surely, Jeremiah 17, 7 and 8 says, Blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, whose confidence is in him. Friends, we would ask that you would pray along with us that we may be used to advance the gospel of Jesus Christ. We want to see the spread of this good news that we have. Surely we have a God who loves us, a saviour that saves us, and that hope of heaven deep within our hearts that when our labours are over, we'll be called home and we'll praise God for the rest of eternity. We're thankful for the work and the ministry of Mission Africa and I know we're just a very small part of that. We're thankful for church partnerships. We're just praying that we can do in God's strength everything to see the gospel impacting lives, transforming society and may revival and reformation come once again to the church every effort of evangelism. May we have courage and strength to do it to the glory of God, even, even in the midst of insecurity, in the midst of many challenges. May God help us to grow and to flourish. Let us be like a tree planted by water. It sends its root out towards the stream. We would certainly appreciate your prayers for the work of Acts, that's Africa Christian textbooks. Acts exists to strengthen the church by providing and publishing Bible-based literature that is relevant and affordable. So basically, we're all about books and Bibles, particularly books that will help Bible college students and pastors and those in leadership. We are aware that these are challenging times Books are not always a priority, but we believe they are necessary as they study and as they study God's word. So pray that the Lord would provide as he has so faithfully done. Pray for our 15 branches throughout Nigeria. Pray for our 43 members of staff. Ask that the Lord would encourage them and bless them and keep them faithful to their calling. We are really amazed at how throughout this pandemic, whenever things were very difficult, there was the lockdown when we reopened our branches. We're thankful that customers came and they asked above all for Bibles. It was really quite amazing and we're thankful to God. Our next container that's on its way is filled with Bibles. So pray it'll come safely and as the Bibles are distributed, we ask for God's blessing to be upon every man, every woman, boy and girl that receives a Bible, that gets a Bible, that they would know God's power as they read it and may they be thoroughly blessed as they sit and read his word. Remember, it doesn't fear when heat comes and its foliage remains green. We're grateful for your prayers for ourselves as a family. 
Musa continues to teach church history at the university, although right now there's a strike on, so we pray very much that that will be resolved very soon. We're thankful for Gracie, our daughter. She'll be 11 later this month, and we are thankful she resumed school just last week. She's in grade five, and this is her last year in elementary school. I know things have not been easy for students and teachers and even parents, but we know we can keep our eyes fixed on the Lord. We can trust him. We can have our confidence in him. He's in control of everything. The timing is in his hands as well. And as our verses conclude, it will not worry in a year of drought or cease producing fruit. Friends, it's been my privilege and joy to be with you this evening. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, I think wherever we are in the world, we can be grateful for what God is doing. And we're thankful that we can praise him and glorify him. We can love him. We can serve him. We just ask that he would draw closer to us and strengthen us and help us each and every day. And may he be given all the glory and all the honour in Jesus' name. Amen. We're just going to pray together. Let's pray. Father, we want to give you thanks that indeed you are our God. And as we behold you, worship and give you our thanks, we are humbled as we acknowledge our complete dependence upon you. Father, we thank you for Pamela and for how she has shared with us this evening. Lord, we thank you for her willingness and obedience to go into all the world and preach the gospel. We thank you for the call in her life, a life committed to following and serving Jesus Christ, her Lord and Saviour. We pray for her family at home here in Northern Ireland and in Nigeria. Be near them and protect them in these days. And for our brothers and sisters in Nigeria who face many hardships and trials because of their faith, Lord, be their shield and defender. Give them the grace to bear whatever comes their way. Father, may your church keep growing in Nigeria and around the world. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.